What's up, you guys? It is Kotetsu here, and we are playing on the channel Shining Resonance Reframed. Now, with this one, I did get it for the PS4. Yes, I got it for PS4, only because it looks so much better on the PS4. And I was like, uh, I don't know what to do, so I ended up getting it for PS4, and I was just like, you know what? I want to at least, because it, it runs 60 frames on PS4, it runs like 30 on the Switch, so I'm like, you know what, I want to get it for the PS4, but I'm still going to advocate it for the Switch as well. So, just because I have it for PS4, doesn't mean that I'm not, I'm just not going to do advocate it for the Switch at all, because this game is out for the PS4 and the Switch. So, um, so yeah, so let's actually, it said we, it said earlier if you guys saw that, there we go, it loaded our, um, our, 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 our save data but um I'll go where we played the first part of it that was the demo and um and now I'm just gonna actually go through it and show you guys what it looks like on the PS4 in 60 frames so um another thing I was gonna do an unboxing for this game cause it did come like a nice little uh, hard uh, hard case and I was like oh maybe an art book or something like that but no you don't really get anything you get like a nice little sleeve and then the hard case and it's like a flip like a reversible not a reversible but you can turn the, the hard case around and you can either get these two on the the character you see here on the hard case and show shining resonance or you can get not him but the other chick right here on the right and you'll like like kind of like the uh, the actual like the, the the actual box art that you actually get when you actually uh, get the game I'm actually looking at it right now um, but you actually get then you get like the original box art that's on there but uh, that's it was cool I like it I wish there was more in it but you know what it's not a big deal for it to be like a for a launch edition and call it a launch edition just give us a hard case maybe there's something else in there I didn't see I don't know but uh, anyway uh, we're going to actually jump into we're gonna play the original version of the game the original mode and then once we do that I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I'm I don't know how long this game is gonna be and then we'll jump back and do the refrain uh, the refrain version of the game. So let's jump on in. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, so there it goes. The original version. The tale of a boy who carries the soul of a legendary dragon within him and struggles to defy fate along his his Dragoneer companions. This is a story as it was originally meant to be played, recommended for first time players like us. So I heard too, like, if you, like, almost got the Japanese version of this game, but I heard. If you got a game over in the Japanese version, you have to. St there's a micro transaction to actually continue to where you left or something like that. And I was like, that's crazy. Just in this, like, for a micro transaction like that, just to be able to start over or revive yourself, to th that's crazy. I was like, I'm so glad I didn't get it. So, anyway, we're playing the English version. We're playing Shining Resonance. Let's go on the PS4. Still advocating for the Switch. So. Um, this is really just for quality assurance. I really want to give you guys the best quality I can that I have the ability to and I was like, you know what if I get the PS4 version it come plays in 60 frames Why not? Why not do it? So but we've already seen this part already uh, We played through the demo on the switch before so we've seen this we've seen this part already It's the oh. enemy! They're coming! We're under attack! It's an elf! A dragon ear! All soldiers to the front gate! Go! Hurry! So we already know what happens here on this part. So let's go. Op one. That op, op one. Moonlit overturn. Overture. The overture. Or overturn. Looks like she got their attention. That should leave this area clear. Right on time too. I suppose she's never been one for half measures. But now it's our turn. You guys probably hear my fan in the back. Our target's on this floor. He should be trapped in a cell in the furthest part of the lab. We find him and save him. Yes, my lady. I want everyone coming back in one piece. Move out. Our mission starts now. <laughs> I'll be mad if I got this for the PS4 and that was 60 frames on here. I'll be like, man, I could have got it for the Switch. But anyway, controlling characters, we already know. Use the left control stick to control, look around with the R. See, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully it comes out 60 frames. It usually does. When I play a game at 60 frames, it usually does come out in 60 frames. But you guys can see this game runs at a nice, smooth 60 frames. Hopefully it is. If it's not, I'm going to look stupid talking about it. And it's not coming out that way. The target should be just ahead. 
You there! Halt! Should have figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh well. Who are you? State your business. Would you believe I'm here to rescue a princess? I guess you don't care. In any case, I owe you an introduction. I am Sonia Blanche, a sworn knight of Astoria. An Astoria? Breach! There's been a breach! Unfortunately for you, I'm in a hurry, so I won't be holding back. Here I come! Her voice sounds so familiar. Like, she sounds like, if you guys watch Roni Kenshin, she sounds like, um, she sounds like, um, um, she sounds like Kaoru. That's like her voice actor is, is sounds like that her voice actor played Kaoru in um, Roni Kenshin. So, of course, you can press O for the series of attacks, press triangle to do the uh, strong attacks. I think I love this game, too, because of the combat. The combat is so, it's, it's a little meaty. To me, it's meaty. That's why I like, I'm, I fell in love with this game, like, after playing the demo. I'm like, dude, this combat is so meaty. Like, it feels like I'm doing a lot more than just, like, really just feel like I'm just mashing a button and just doing, you know, mixed combos and stuff like that. But I feel like I'm doing a lot more. So we have our action points. We know about that. Um, we have our stamina bar right there. We have to be mindful of it. Luckily, like, what? It's not like how we're playing uh, Dawn of the Breakers. How, like, everything we do takes stamina. <laughs> like, even walking takes stamina. I'm like, jeez. Cool, we got trophy. That's it? I better get moving before reinforcements arrive. Awesome, awesome. All right, so um, if you guys know me and just playing all the, uh, you know, from playing Xeno, Xenoblade, I do every single fight because I like to level up and be prepared. Like, in Xenoblade, I did a lot of off-screen grinding and, like, I was just super prepared for all the bosses and everything like that in the game, so that's so that's what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be doing pretty much every single fight, so so I can level up and um, advance melody. Okay, so so I can level up and then um, I don't think this way should. Okay, so this tells me I can go that way. But yeah, I'm gonna do every single fight so I can be leveled up right and uh, so I can take on all the enemies. I'm hoping this is the one thing I am big on about RPGs is weapons cosmetics like I'm hoping that you can get more different weapons and then you can actually be using that weapon instead of saying hey look at this awesome weapon but you're not using it you know like like cosmetics and RPGs is a big thing for me so I'm hoping that this game like has that element of cosmetics like when you when you have a weapon you're actually literally using it you know that's what I'm hoping in this game this is it. If our information's right, he should be in here. But kind of like in the Xenoblade, how you get the augments. Besides the, um, what? Besides, um, like, Rex. You can't really aug- or Rex is our Pyra and, and, uh, Mithra. How cool! Like, you- like, everyone else, they had weapons cosmetics, so I was really happy about that. I'm here to help. I know in the demo we went like half an hour, but we're gonna go an hour. Like we're gonna do hour episodes for this game. Yes, that's me. I'm Sonia, a knight of Astoria. I'm here to break you out. Just follow me. Huh? Come on, we need to escape before the guards arrive. Escape? Escape to where? I, I have nowhere to go. Do you want to stay here? Well, of course not. But then follow me. We just need to make it out, and you're free. You can go anywhere you want. Come on, let's go. I, uh, all right. There she is! That's the Astoria Knight! There's more of them than I thought. So much for slipping out the main gate. Okay, change of plans. Milady. Good timing. Looks like we're going with plan B for the escape. This way. No. We'll hold the line here. You get to safe ground. What? No! Then all of you would... We'll be fine. We survived your training, didn't we? A handful of Imperials aren't gonna take us out. Fine. Do me proud, everyone. Um... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Just follow me. We can escape from up top instead. 
All right, so we don't get like nice little cutscenes, but we do get voice dialogue in here. Like kind of, you hear the sounds of what's going on, but we won't get actual like you know too many cutscenes and stuff like that, from what I've heard. But that's fine with me. Like um, that's I'm that's not a big deal as long as like these these aren't too over too overwhelming, I guess. So we have our force tech force abilities. We know how to get through them. You have a. Like, utilizing her shield to the fullest. But her shield isn't just there, she actually uses it. And there's like a special skill too. Uh, keep it up, we're almost outside. This is really the way out? There, intruders, after them. Shoot, they're gaining on us, hurry. So, um, I know she has like an actual skill that allows her to actually use her skill or risky encounter. What does that mean? Oh, so I can't move? What? That's crazy. So they get the first hit. That's crazy. So I know there's like she can actually use her shield. There we go. So if we press box, we can actually use her shield. That's actually, I think it's like her ability. So, Get ready. I think I mentioned that before. We played the um, we played the demo. It says a million thrusts, but like, I wish it like actually lived up to it. It didn't feel like it's like a couple. It like a couple thrusts. It looked like what I do when I press triangle. Like that's like her like her triangle move is like me pushing. I mean that move is just like me pressing triangle for like her heavy attacks, but. It's whatever. We'll go ahead and we're going to save over our other save file because we're playing the game through over again. If if there was like if they're like, hey, you played the demo, here's this, then that'd have been different. But I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping this RPG like takes us up for a while because we're gonna be waiting. And then plus we're waiting for Xenoblade, Golden, Golden Age of Torna. So. This probably is gonna take us up to there, so I cannot wait for that. And then we're gonna do Mega Man too. Like I'm definitely gonna do Mega Man. This is our escape route. Right. See how the walls crumbled over there? We can climb down and get out of here. They reached the top. Don't let them escape. But those guards will be here any moment. They'll just catch us while we're climbing. They would, if it was just the two of us. If we didn't have backup. Come on, Dragonier. Hurry it up. This is your cue. All right, so now we're going to be introduced to her other, her Dragoneer, um, which is the I don't I don't forgot her name, but she has she rocks the the bow the bow and arrow, so that's actually really cool. She's like a ranged character in the game. If we see her, there she is. What's her name again? Oh, um, um, Kirika. Then it is my turn to fight. A suitable diversion should be enough to ensure their escape. Kirika. So she's like an elf, like, I don't know the lore, but we'll learn it as we play. Halt! Identify yourself! I am a Dragoneer of Wellant. Perhaps you understand what that means? Wellant? Then she's the one. She wiped out the South 7th Legion all on her own. I can't say I recall. It certainly sounds like something I might have done. Wh what business does a Dragoneer have with us? I only ask that you let me pass. Don't be ridiculous. You think we'd just let you in? If you choose violence, I must respond in kind. But your passing will not go unmourned. Through my requiem, your soul will find peace. <laughs> She's just like, hey, you know I am, right? I am Kirika Toa Alma, Diva Magica, and inheritor of the Rune Songs of Nature. Face me! <laughs> Diva Magica? The intruder! We're under attack! She claimed it. She's a diva. Alright, let's go. 
Her tutorial. She's a Dragonair who uses the Kotonokagura. Um, she's a good range attack and can support party in the back from the back line. Her break attack sends flurry of arrows. Yeah. Uh, she can also heal, which is also nice. I actually was messing around with the, the other demo, the PS4 demo, and I was like, oh, okay, so she can heal. I didn't really notice that. And but she sucks at <laughs> close range though. This is like her best move, like just to back people up, and then you gotta kind of like run. It would be cool. She like had like a nice little like um, maneuver that allowed her to get away. Like a nice little like you know a pushback to push these dudes back. That's like the best move, honestly. There we go. Ooh, got him. I'm actually really looking forward to progress in this game just to see how everyone progresses in here with strength and everything like that. Still no sign of Sonia. This is no simple delay. Has she abandoned the front gate? Perhaps she's chosen the secondary plan. Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous point. Okay. Got done using her. Now, I think we're going to go back. Yep. Back up to the top of the tower. Yuma. This is where the dragon talks to Yuma. Yuma, can you hear me? I can hear you. Your situation is dire indeed. I know. I'll probably just... Do you not draw your sword? You are more than capable of defending yourself. No, I... I can't. I'd rather just go back to my cell. Don't you want to escape? I do, but... If it means I have to use that power... I... I can't. They'd lock me up, but they wouldn't kill me. I just have to let them experiment on me. It's just pain. I'm used to pain. Yeah, if I can just endure it, then... Just giving up, man. I'm like, man, come on. There she is! That's the Astorian hey, Knight! You okay? Huh? Oh, did I skip it? No, not really. What's wrong? I thought I lost you for a second there. No, it's nothing. But the guards... I know. But if we can hold on a little longer, my friend will come back us up. I'll keep you safe until then. Don't worry. I think that is her voice actor. Right. Thank you, Miss Sonia. I'm no miss. Just call me Sonia. Oh, okay. Sonia, wait. wait. Something, Something about, about this feels... feels so, so nostalgic, nostalgic somehow. somehow. What, what was, was that? that? Yuma, watch out! Get back! R right. Yuma, are you truly satisfied? Would you stand back without a word of objection and watch her fight for your sake? What are you trying to say? You are dead weight. A spectator. A useless piece upon the board of battle. I ask again, can you accept this? You are no younger, no less capable than she is. Yet when she raises her blade, you hesitate and watch. Yuma, does this not pain you? No, I... Of course I feel bad. What am I supposed to do? You're telling me to use your power? I told you I can't do that! It is not my power I am advising you to wield. You sealed that blade within yourself, and it is high time you used it. But if I draw that sword... Do you not long for that power? Do you not wish to fight at her side? <sighs> Fine, dragon. I don't like it, but you're right. 
It's time for me to fight. I am Yuma, heritor of the Dragon Soul, Vandalhorn, Dragon Resonator. I release thy bonds. Let this blade howl with the pulse of Dragon Kind. All right, here we go. Get to use Yuma. Is my body and soul. This is Dragon Incarnate. Now. Show them the might of Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator! Just this once. This is the last time I draw this sword. Yuma? Sonya, I can fight too! Alright, I actually like using um, Yuma. He's actually pretty cool. Uh, use Yuma's sword, Vandalhorn. Uses a sword Vandalhorn. He possesses high damage and a wide radius of his attacks. Uses break attack uh, uh, dash lunge to knock down single enemies. Once knocked down, the enemy will be defenseless. I just love the I love the combat in this game. I really do. I always feel like there's more to it. That's why I can't wait to like progress further through this game to see what else there is about this combat so can't wait can't wait we're just getting through the first part of it now Yuma. what that song who's singing Who's that? She's... A dragon? So this is like, you can use her in the refrain version, so I actually can't wait to just get to this entire game. Is that one of the Empire's Draco Machina? Thank you, Trishula. That's Trishula? Then you're the Imperial Dragonair Princess, Excella. Indeed. I love how beautiful this game looks, man. I saw, I, saw I, I love JRPGs. Dragon's one of the three spears of the Imperial Princess. I suppose it makes sense their mistress wouldn't be far. But why are you in Alfheim? To humble those who would stand to get. <clears throat> hey, Yuma. Stay close to me no matter what. And on my signal, just run as fast as you can. What? Just trust me, okay? Why we run? O okay. Hmm. Trishula, I leave them to you. Have at them. Of course. Hmm? Trishula, wait. What? Huh? Is that... Finally, she's here. That song... <laughs> Impressive indeed to block an arrow in flight. Hey, Kirika, a little late, don't you think? All right, she made it. Speak your name. I am Kirika Toa Ama, Dragoneer of Wellit, Diva Magica. An inheritor of the rune songs from the dragons of old. I'm glad you finally showed up. I thought we were finished. And rightly so. Few could stand against a Draco Machina, even without an Imperial Dragoneer commanding. I'm glad I don't have to read this. Her name is Kirika? <sighs> it's, it's happening again. again. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. My, 
the original Diva Magica in the flesh. An intriguing development. Then let me see your power firsthand. Trishula, take them. Can we handle this? I cannot say, but we must try. We must save the Shining Dragon no matter the cost. All right, here we go. Breaking. So, continuously hit an enemy with break attacks or force attacks. Uh, can put the enemy in a state of immobility. This state is called break. While the enemy is in break state, it defense, its defense is lowered, allowing mass amount of damage to be dealt. You can see um, how close the enemy is, is being broken by monitoring their weak, weak targets. I think that's what it said. Uh, every enemy has its has a time when they are more vulnerable to break. Okay, so let's pretty much just focus on the attack and uh, Trisha is vulnerable is vulnerable to break text while he is casting. Oh, okay, so I get it now. A okay, nice block that just did it automatically. That block by itself, I did not hold the block button on that. There we go, break. Got the first break. Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh, did she just... Defense on magic? What? Oh, wow. That was crazy. boss ain't no joke <laughs> oh wow okay so we all got some person okay so everyone leveled up i think everyone leveled up yeah everyone leveled up just now nice we like level ups we like those i had imagined the original diva magica's power would be more impressive somehow it appears i was wrong it will be more than enough to strike you down really a bold claim Shall we test it? I can't move. <laughs> What's wrong? Standing still, even on a battlefield like this, it's as if you're inviting my lance. Kirika! I think not. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm waiting. I can't move. Are you all truly so helpless? Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. Weak? Don't give me that. We already put down your dragon. What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? Uh <laughs> What's so funny? You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. Rise, my dragon. I shall grant you power anew. It's coming back to life? <laughs> that resonance, is that her harmonic? Now you see. Dragon and harmonic, uniting to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a dragoneer. Then, we'll just beat it down again! I see you are persistent, if nothing else. But you forget one crucial detail. There are three spears under my command, and Trishula is but one. Okay, I remember this part. She summons like two more dragons. Which is crazy. What? Go. <laughs> uh. 
hard. They were so intense. Oh, dang. Rescuing this boy. Who is he? Your Highness, are you all right? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Yes, Your Highness. <sighs> They're taking me back, but I can't stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to stay in my cell. Just have to stay quiet. Quiet? Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. But what of the girls? What do you mean? Your would-be re- After uh, have been taken away, it. whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, these two will die. No! Damn it, I have to do something! But what can I do? Need you ask? You know exactly what you can do. The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? <laughs> Sounds like you feel the same, Yuma. No, of course not! I can't just abandon them! There he goes. What is that? <laughs> he has become the shining dragon. Impossible. That boy's a dragon? It cannot be. That's... He has been awakened. But how? You... Yuma. Your radiance. You want us to get on? All right. <laughs> My apologies, Your Radiance. <laughs> My Discord's going crazy right now. Trishula, Gable, Gugnir. Don't let that dragon escape. If you command, but at great risk. How so? That was the shining dragon. Our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Ragnarok. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the worst. The shining dragon. Its power is legend. Our records say it was the greatest of the world dragons. Then no, I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Still, I never imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom? <sighs> wow, okay. We didn't get to use him, but he took off. Long ago, the people spoke of a sacred island a sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled, Alfheim. Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons, using mystic rune songs to commune with their mighty allies. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with disdain, and sought to build a new world atop the old. High Elves, who were loyal to the dragons, did battle with their kin, who stood beside Deus. Chaos, suffering, 
War spread forth from the Holy Land, a shadow to cover the entire world. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? The battle had exacted a terrible price upon their kind, and few remained. Ages of war had left Alfheim a barren wasteland, and those elves who fought for the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, it came to be known as Ragnarok. Over the long years that followed, life slowly returned to Alfheim, the land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. These immigrants founded the Kingdom of Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. However, ten years ago the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again, and Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland, the Lombardian Empire. This peaceful island was once again plunged into the fires of war. The Knights of Astoria fought bravely, but the Empire's strength was overwhelming. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, until over half the land was under Lombardian control. Yet, Astoria managed to push them to a stalemate, thanks to the military support of the elven kingdom of Welland, denizens of the mainland, and neighbor to the Empire. Astoria held a key to victory, their famed dragoneers, warriors who wield harmonics, instruments gifted to mortals long ago by a dragon of old. That dragon, he who forged the harmonics from his own body and granted those blessings unto mortals, was the almighty Shining Dragon, the same creature who now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. It is here and now, as the Shining Dragon soars through Astorian skies, that our story begins. Okay, so first achievement, Moonlight Over Overture, and we're going to save. So, I was thinking, this is going to be probably a pretty long series as well. So, I'm going to do a couple of videos, and um, this is where I just want to know if this is going to get enough support to be able to keep going. This is one game I want to just make sure that people are, that, you know, if you guys want to see... Because it is on the PS4 and it's not on the Switch, so it's a little bit different. Oh, let me go through the cutscene real quick. Your Highness, this is unexpected. Had I been made aware of your arrival, I would have mustered the troops for inspection. I'm not here to inspect your men. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on now, Gior? Eight? No, nine years? Nine years to see the Emperor's my father's will done and somehow victory yet eludes us the emperor wishes to convey his impatience results and of command by the emperor's will the invasion of alfheim continues under my supreme authority your beowulf now obeys me i'll hear objections i have none your highness we of beowulf the knight sanguine have thus far failed in delivering our emperor his conquest if his majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. As I transition into my new role as commander, I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon. I've reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet... Not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Explain this to me. We judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. 
Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him. Yes. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Still, the Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Hey, we talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Hmm? Zest, you're late. Care to explain yourself and show some respect? I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence Already crawling up my back, Georg. I'm not gonna be rude. Promise. Hey, Princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Zest, I told you to mind your tongue. What? Just calling it like I see it. Zest. Fine, fine, I'll just go. Later. Georg, who was that man? Ah, uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... difficult to work around. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though, Beatrice? Standing by, sir. I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your Highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. Very well, Beatrice. You may accompany me for the duration. Thy will be done. With me, then. Let's be off. Let me guess, before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment and make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Something like that. Okay, well, that was a long uh, scene there. <laughs> I was like dozing off for a bit. But we got to meet more of the, uh, the antagonists of the game. Um, that Zest, he looks like really cool. He's a cool dude. Like a cool character that, that would be awesome to be able to use. <laughs> oh, man. I love some of the villains in some games, man. I'm like, man, I wish they had like a mode and you just use them and just play through the game. Not even like story mode. I'll just use them not in story mode just to like go around and fight other guys that'd be so awesome you're safe now i promise what's going on hey no moving stop you'll reopen your wounds i see i'm having a dream which means this is back then please i know it hurt oh no 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 if you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll catch 
cast a spell to numb the pain, all right? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember? He has a flashbacks of the dragon's past. That's actually pretty interesting. Oh, your radiance. You're awake. W where? You're in Marga, your radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Uh, Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please. Call me Kirika, your radiance. All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons, communicating will and whim. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us sang to us in their ancient rune songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new diva magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore, historical texts. That's how it was for me anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt off, empty. But then I met you, your radiance. I always knew you returned to us, that's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and... And now you're really here! Uh, my apologies, Your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity... Uh, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form. But in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after me. Alright, Kirika obtained the uh, trait, Dragon Believer. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh, oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! These scenes are long. Her mother Emma runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Oh my, good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us quite the fright when you wouldn't wake up, you know. I... I did? Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. The princess? In time, your radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. Uh, more Good scenes. Morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Hold on. You're... No way. What? Like it's that hard to believe? Here, why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche, Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. I it's a profound honor to meet you. Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? Y you got it. But uh, what's the Crown Princess kicking around uh. the regular old inn for? So many scenes. <laughs> well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneer's caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. 
You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but it's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. Okay, wherever you want to go, point the way. Alright, Sonia has the title, obtain the trait, Seagull in Guest. Radiance Audience Chamber, jeez. There's so much before you actually jump in. Welcome, Sir Yu. I am Albert, King of Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble hall. Y yes, sir. Oh, come, Sir Yuma. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galeritz, I saw... cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh, w well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Uh. If you've come this far just to clam up, Ugh! I don't understand you! Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, uh, I didn't mean... Uh, no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Mm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, take whatever time you need. See the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Yes, if you say so, Your Majesty. Whew, okay, that is it. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, gosh, I can be short-tempered sometimes. But the Shining Dragon is really up to you. Okay, but well, what about the war with the Empire? Oh, don't worry about that. We finally gained our footing. Uh, hey, don't make that face. Oh, I know. I'll show you around the city, Yuma. Show me around, huh? That would be great. i never seen such a big city before. So I'd check it, uh, so I'd like to check it out. Good. Okay, good, let's go. 
Oh boy, gosh, that was a long beginning part of the game. That was like the first hour. My gosh. <laughs> uh, Marga, uh, Marga is flourishing. Is a flourishing coastal city of Astoria, Astoria's capital. It's home to many people, and the king's castle rests as, as its center. You can make use of the facility here and interact with the citizens. Story icons. Okay. Things can be examined like the citizens of Mar uh, Marga sometimes have story icons display upon uh, over them. I think that's what I said. Uh, to move to the main events forward, look at look for the exclamation icon. Okay, well that is going to be it. Uh, so we had our first preview of the game. Now I've been kind of thinking. I was gonna kind of jump into it and say, "Hey, let's do it." But this is going to be a very long playthrough, and um, of course, it's not necessarily Nintendo on the Nintendo Switch. It is on the uh, PlayStation 4. But um, if you guys do want to continue seeing seeing this game on the channel, I'm going to upload this probably today or tomorrow. But what I'll do is this is going to have a light goal. I have a light goal of five. So if you guys want to continue to see this on here. Um, I'll do a couple more episodes uh, just to kind of give you guys enough. But if you guys want to see more, five likes. I put I'll put three episodes up. If each episode hits five likes, then I will continue to do this game on the channel. If not, then it's okay. You know, we all we still I have a lot. The only because I say I have a lot on my plate right now. So just to know that if you guys want to continue to see this, then I will continue playing it. So, five likes is going to be the goal. If you guys want to see it, I will do that. Because Mega Man is going to be next week, I believe. And I want to do Mega Man really bad. I'm thinking of doing like a live stream kind of thing for Mega Man. Going through as much as possible in Mega Man uh, X Collection. Uh, when that comes out next week, I believe. On the 24th. Is it next week? I'll check my calendar really quickly. As I am talking to you guys. It says on the 24th. So... E not next week, but the week after next. That's when it comes out. So if you guys want to continue seeing this game, then do me a favor, hit that like button, show the support, and I will continue playing this game. Also, if you're new to the channel and you are enjoy and you enjoyed the first hour, it was a lot. The first hour was a lot. So I'm gonna do another episode that has probably more. Uh, maybe uh, if I do have a little bit of time, I'm gonna chill out and rest. But like I said. Uh, if you're enjoying all the other content as well, do me a favor and, well, no, this is more of you feeling free. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this game. Um, I am advocating it for the PS4 and the Switch. And, uh, you guys, if you guys, um, enjoy it, if you guys enjoy the demos, go get it. It's like, what, f like 50 bucks? It's actually really good. Go get it. Go enjoy yourself. You love a JRPG. So, anyway, that's it for me. I will see you guys next time if you guys like i said you guys want to see more five likes that's all i'm asking for is five that's super easy i know you guys can do it and uh yeah i'll see you